Multnomah County is using a new tool to pinpoint which neighborhoods are most vulnerable to heat. And that actually went live today. We're learning much more about how those results will be used. Jamie Seymour here now with a closer look. Jamie? Yeah, that map goes by census tracts in the county varying in size. Some areas like parts of downtown are only a few blocks, while others like East County are larger because they're more spread out. Heading into an early heat wave this weekend, Multnomah County is taking a new approach to how they help those most impacted by it. In addition to usual measures like handing out water and cooling supplies to those outside, they unveiled a new tool Friday, a heat vulnerability index. And it suggests some different things that we can be doing for each other to keep each other safe during a heat event. The interactive map looks at overall heat vulnerability in communities across the county and what heat issues some may face over others. Dark red meaning it has the highest vulnerability, dark blue the lowest. It also pinpoints why a certain area might be more impacted by the rising temperatures, like age or underlying health conditions, neighborhoods that have more asphalt than trees and green spaces, or accessibility factors like language barriers or the ability to access resources. Some places might need more tree canopy to reduce exposure. Other places might need specif specific outreach uh, from maybe their medical provider. According to Multnomah County Health Department. The tech is sustained by public health funding from the Oregon Legislature that focuses on the impacts of climate change. This helps us plan our outreach uh, leading up to an, a, a heat event. Um, it helps us plan even our cooling salt centers. The map is also being used outside the agency by organizations like HealthShare of Oregon, using it to identify members with conditions that make them vulnerable to heat and get them the resources they need to potentially avoid the need for a doctor's office and ER visits during a heat event. The Heat Vulnerability Index unveiled today focuses mainly on sensitivity, exposure, and the ability to adapt to the temps. But county officials say they're already looking to add new data next year, like how many households have air conditioning and which communities may still need that extra protection in their homes. Back to you. Yeah, these last few years with how hot it's been, that's a great tool to know about. Jamie, thank you.